I think we can save around 50% of the feed cost per feed unit by picking up fresh grass instead of raw hedge. Hello, my name is Lauke. I am the manager here in Gram Slot. We uh, is a big organic farm here in Denmark. Uh, we are close in, in south of Jutland, near Herderslev and Gram. In total, we have around 1,200 organic cows. And uh, this farm where the Jersey cows are, we have 500. At this farm here in Denmark, I've been there for the last nine months. And uh, before that, I was uh, five years in Russia also with a lot of cows and a lot of hectares of land over there. But the 1st of January I came here and started taking care of all the cows we have here and how to feed them. Here in Grand Slot we do the mixing of the milk because all our products we are producing here is sold in Denmark in local shops called Rematusen. And when we mix the milk from Jersey cows and from Holstein cows, then it's really, really tasty. And also with this higher level of, of fat in the milk, we're also producing yogurt and other things. In total, in Graham's lot, we have uh, 3,600 hectares, also of, also, of course, organic. And everything what we are using for the cows, that means concentrate or raw hedge, we are producing on our own fields. And in the ration, we have beans, lupines, melted rape, then we have a part of grass silage, corn silage, and then, of course, a lot of fresh grass. The soil is okay down here. Some soil is sandy and, and others not, but yeah, somewhere we grow the corn silage and the other part we grow potatoes or whatever what we need. I really have focused on how we feed the cows. But because a cow would like the day-to-day -to, -day to be the same as it was yesterday and also tomorrow. So what is really important that when we do the mixing and we're using a lot of fresh grass, we have to make it the same way every day. Before I came here, they were also using fresh grass last year, but they did not know how to make it work because the cows, they drop a lot of uh, milk during the summertime because one day they eat a lot of red grass and the next day it was dry and they could not control it. And they still mixed uh, a ration with, with some raw hedge and, and concentrate. And this year when I came here, because I have practiced in some of that in Russia also, we start to, to make the mix. And at the last, we also put the fresh grass in the mixer and just let it mix for a few minutes and then serve it for the cows. Previous year, they make a basic ration and then on top of that, they just brought in the fresh grass. And that did not work well in the stomach of the cow because what did the cow do? It will eat all the fresh grass and then it's, uh, and it will take all the concentrate. Now we do the mixing and it's a stable feeding of a cow. The cows love it and they can produce cheap milk on it. Normally, what we can see historical way that the cows have been dropped three to four liters during the summer times. But this year, we have a constant level the whole summer. It doesn't matter if it's raining or, or dry season. And, and we have kept the level around 27 liters per cow for Jersey cows and around 30, 30 liters per cow for, for the Holstein cows. The Holstein, they are doing around 10,500 liters. And uh, our Jersey cows, they are close to 9,000 now. It's an old uh, two times 20 milk parlor. And uh, on the other farms, we also have uh, quite old milk parlors working well. In Russia, they were inside the whole year. But here, because it's an organic farm, we have the cows outside during daytime, uh, six, six months a year. Now we have this uh, grass take wagon here. We can just go ourselves every day. One man, one tractor, that's it. Then we can feed 1,200 cows a day. It's a tree axle and it's the biggest one we can buy at the moment. It runs smoothly on the land. We can really drive fast. It's really efficient uh, wagon. Uh, during summertime, the maximum has been six loads a day. Four loads for, for the dairy cows and, and two loads for the herfers. We have a backup from, from the dealer. If something breaks down and that happened from time to time and he comes within 
10 hours. Then we are up running again. And otherwise we are doing this uh, maintenance once a week, more or less. If you go to the fresh grass system, you don't have to look at the weight anymore when you are mixing it. You need to look at the volume. Because one day it's wet, another day it's dry. Of course, using a contractor is much, much easier for me because there's nothing to do than just to pay the bill. But here, when we go with the grass tech wagon, we get fresh grass the whole season. And here in the autumn, where the quality normally is not so good, it's really good as a fresh grass. And the cows, they really like it and producing a lot of milk for a cheap price. During the summertime, we are managed to have 5.8 in average in fat in the milk and 3.50 in protein. The Holstein cows, they, um, they have uh, 4.20 in fat and also around 3.40 in protein. The concentrate we are using, it's uh, beans and lupines and the melted rape. So we have some extra fat in the ration because we cannot buy protected fat as organic farmer. But we are always trying to be better from day to day. That's why we get up in the morning. And that's why we are using the fresh grass, as I say, in the right way, so the cows can produce a lot of milk. <laughs>